All right, we off to Lalabella. A few treasured places that I've seen over many a years uh, with uh, church structures carved in underground hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So, yo, your man is gonna go check out some areas, give y'all just a taste of Ethiopia. And uh, hopefully y'all enjoy this ride with me along this trip. So, hold on, it's gonna get really nice. We're on our ride in the skies. We're to go to the Lalabella. Stay tuned. This is the church that gets all the attention, but it's the youngest one. But very interesting, we'll hear a little information. Yeah, he said, don't get closer. <laughs> you don't get no closer? <laughs> All righty. All righty, my brother. This is the church that gets a lot of attention. Yeah, here we are in the St. George Church, Beta Georgis. This is the finest church and gets a lot of our attention. And this is uh, the, the youngest church than uh, the oldest, almost uh, 20 years than uh, young, be, than the oldest church. Beta Georgis has a proper cross-shaped forms from inside and from outside. From the top, as you see, it has designed cross-shapes. And uh, all the churches downward has a cross-shaped pillar. One more interesting about the church is the church has getting increasing step by step to downwards. At the top it is very tiny roof and at the basement has a uh, wider basement. So it has, has like a pyramid shape the basement, not to fall down in a part. Okay. 
So the way to go to down this uh, cliffs and trenches are uh, round arch uh, trenches and tunnels to go stair down and come to down to their access to the internal part of the church. It's found up in the middle of the courtyard and the middle of the cliff. So the way how many those, those churches are uh, from up to down. So it's not like a, as a built up structure from basement to the upstairs. So starting from up to down. So they dig out all four corners. So the church found in the middle. So the, they starting carving out from uh, design and frame it out from up to the bottom and through the windows and through the doors they, ex they took it out the interior part and carved it properly the interior part it's completely different made mating style from upside to downside hmm. <laughs> not from basement to the upstairs that makes them unique those churches in the world all right Very amazing, and how they can carve into hard rock structures thousands of years ago. You know, hard to find this in very few places you can find this around the world, but uh, this is definitely amazing. So as you can see, the, uh, the church is more properly done, everything. Uh, for example, the drainage, how the rain has come out from the roof as a gutter to exist down to the wall. And from downward, there is a tunnel and goes to down to the, the trenches and goes to down to the valley. So there is no anything water to keep it in this uh, courtyard. Rather than any outlet or exist for the water for drainage, this church will be sinking inside the pool. So everything will prepare. So the church has windows. The upper layer windows has 12 windows with an ogival niche on the top. And the lower windows has a square shaped window. But the window in the lower part has blind, has no any access. But they still keep those projection things. We call them monkey head. Architectural name, we call them those cubic thing, monkey heads on the door, on the windows as well. Those are imitated from the obelisks of Axum, which is the obelisk of Axum was made 200 BC before the birth of Christ. And all things that existed here are originally uh, found in Ethiopian or original Ar uh, African architecture style found in this church. And this church is symbolically uh, carved out the Ark of Noah or Noah's sheep. And uh, the sheep is completely was closed or uh, sealed out to protect all the animals which is kept on the sheep. And this church also has blind windows. That's why all the covered to make similarity with the sheep of uh, Noah or Ark of Noah. But the upper window has opened that to indicate Noah himself has thrown out the dove to find out how the flood is gone all over and the dove has bring back to him some uh, olive leaves or olive trees leaves and we have uh, designed on uh, on the top of the window all over here the olive trees and the olive leaves to indicate that the flood is gone and we have olive trees all over there at the present time with the big olive trees on over my head as well those are olive trees. Those are the olive trees. Hot dog. All right, family. Anything else? Yeah, we are done.